email from Bruce. Dear, he says, good evening. Uh, Eve's sin was an act of the will which occurs in the mind. Is this sin instilled in us when we receive our soul which comes from God himself? Why would our Lord create us in sin? Thank you, Bruce, for so what, what odds going on? We're getting into heavy-duty stuff here. Yeah, okay? This is a great question. All right. A, a critical difference, there's a very critical difference in understanding the Catholic teaching on original sin and the Protestant teaching on original sin. All right. The Protestant teaching on original sin is that original sin is a vitiation of our nature, that our nature becomes evil, and so no matter what you do, however outwardly good it may seem, it is inwardly vitiated. That My theology professors use the example of a glass of water with a drop of ink. The ink covers everything and makes it all corrupt. Okay, that's the Protestant view of original sin. The Catholic view of original sin is this. Original sin is not a positive corruption of our nature. What God makes is good, you're correct, and it cannot be evil. Ma created, the created world is good. Original sin is a privation of original justice. What that means is that Adam and Eve were created in a perfect, loving fellowship with God that was not merited. It was a gift of God. Okay, God get granted this to them by a supernatural act. When they willfully chose to sin, God removed that sanctifying grace, that deprivation of sanctifying grace, coming into the world without being intrinsically in relationship with God is what we mean by original sin in a Catholic context, not the deprivation of our nature. And therefore, justification, salvation, uh, is sanctifying grace is the restoration of that relationship that was lost to yeah. Adam and Eve. All right. So it's a very different conception. And you're right. Well, our, our nature is good. God doesn't create anything evil. That's Manichaeism.